stole the peacock's feathers. Someone's head at the octopus. Someone else striped the zebra. When there's a strange crime in the zoo, and you're looking for a clue, you'll always find him right on track. Sherlock Yak. Sherlock Yak. Hermione right by his side. The bad guys just can't hide. If you get lost, he'll get you back. Sherlock Yak. All the dreams and all the dough. He's and mean, and he's no fool. And he's way double cool. He won't stand for no yakety yak. Sherlock Yak. I'm on the go. Will you find out before Sherlock? Who wants to fry the piranha? You don't have any mail either? Nothing for the last two days. Are you expecting an important letter? Well, a package, actually. What is it? Are you curious, Hermione? Mm. No, not at all. Mm? Hmm? <laughs> Very good, young disciple. You have passed the whole day in front of the forbidden box. And you have resisted the curiosity of seeing what's inside. You can stay alone a few minutes. If you resist on the long path to wisdom, you will have moved forward. You must learn to master your curiosity, Hermione, or it will control you. I know. It's a present for me. <laughs> Tell me. Have you listened to what I just said, Hermione? Oh, I can give you a little hint. The package contains a detective's best friend. <laughs> this is Sherlock Yak. Hmm? Calm down, Piranha. I can't understand a word you're saying. By all the trees and all the toes, I'm on the go. See, most of the time, I get love letters or mail from female fans. But this morning in the mailbox, I actually got a threatening letter. It's anonymous. Ah! Hey, you almost bit me. Sorry about that, sweetie. I can't help it. <laughs> no. Hmm. Leave the zoo. Otherwise, we'll turn you into a... Um... Sponge? No! Breaded fish stick! My life is in danger! Apparently. Well, now, let's see. The letter was written with letters that were cut out of the newspaper. Impossible to find out who wrote this by their writing. Can I speak to the oh. pink flamingo postman, please? Thanks. Hmm. When there's an anonymous letter, the first person to question is the postman, isn't it? Quite right, Hermione. Hello, we need you in a hurry at the piranha's pool, and... Uh... Hey. Yes, Sherlock? Could the postman bring me my package if he comes over? Mm-hmm. Oh, Pink Flamingo, what happened to you? I sprained my wing three days ago. Nothing serious, no big deal, no problem. Just can't deliver the mail. Aha, the mystery of my package not arriving has now been solved. Tell me, Pink Flamingo, how do you deliver the mail usually? Do you drop it in the box? Exactly, perfectly, on the nose. For the piranha, it's simple. We drop the mail either as we fly by or by swimming. There is no other solution, method, technique. Mm -hmm. I fly. It's simpler and less dangerous. Less dangerous? Why so? Because I can't set foot in that pool. I'm too scared he'd bite me, eat me, devour me. So you have never seen this letter? Mm. Uh, no, never, ever, at all. But that's normal, not surprising. Logical. There are no stamps on it. This letter didn't go through the post office. That's quite true. Thanks, Pink Flamingo. Uh, tell me, Piranha, do you have any enemies? You can't be serious. Everyone loves me. Huh? Mm. Ah. huh? What was that? A UFO? A flying saucer? A spaceship? My ah. ring! <laughs> oh. Don't tell me he ate it already. I don't eat, I taste. I've had enough. This is the 46th one. These are my work tools. I like the uh, red ones. They're super crispy. Uh, this is the last time you're going to pay for this. Uh, uh, no, no. Uh, uh, no, darn ladder. Uh, well, you're no circus star, you poor you thing. You be quiet. Uh, 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 I'll break every fish bone in your body. I hope you end up in fish soup. Hmm. Uh, look.
looks like we have our first suspect. Quite right, Hermione. And I think I'll be able to find some more. Thanks for answering our questions, Postman. Sure thing. Oh, by the way, I've brought your package. Thank you. That's very kind of you. Mm, what is it? What is it? Come on. Don't you want to open it? Not right now. Investigation comes first, Hermione. We have suspects to find. Mm. And what do we do about the piranha? Close protection. It's a little tight, but it's cute. Hmm. At least you're safe right here. When I'm near you, sweetie, nothing can happen to me. <gasps> Recently, I saw the pink flamingo for a sprained wing, indigestion for Chef Panda, an underwater bite for the pelican, a sore throat for Egret. The pelican got bitten underwater? That's right. We had a subaquatic laceration of the cutaneous and muscular forward and backward tissues with anatomical and traumatic wounds at level two. Hmm. Hmm. He got bitten in the behind. I just wanted a taste. I see. Well, let's go question that grumpy old pelican. Sherlock, if I ask you questions about what's in your package, will you answer them? Hermione, you're incorrigible. After all, it's a pretty good exercise in deduction for a future detective, isn't it? All right, go ahead. Mm, is it useful? Yes. Pretty? Yes. Precious? Yes. Uh, oh, gold-plated MP3 player with a built-in GPS locator. No. Mm, mm. By all the South Seas, that's right, sailor. I did get my rear end bitten by that little piranha fellow, but I wouldn't send him a threatening letter. Can I see your injury? Oh, it's nothing. I've flown the seven seas. I've seen a lot worse. Allow me to insist, Captain. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that's quite nasty. Gliding on the water is one of my rare pleasures. I'll have to find calmer waters, that's all. Do you know other zoo dwellers who might have had a problem with our friend the piranha? They say Miss Skunk might hold a grudge against him, but I don't know any more than that, sailor. Very well, Pelican. I'll let you know how the investigation comes along. Oh! Don't you worry. I'll take care of it. Oh. Huh? Oh. Oh. Here. Thanks a lot. Glad to see your injury doesn't stop you from flying. You're an ace. At your service, sailor. Would you like to have a drink in my fish tank sometime? Never. Now it's the skunk's turn. Is the list of your enemies long, Piranha? I've got nothing but friends. You'll see, the skunk loves me. Hmm. <laughs> Yes? Huh? You here? I never want to see you again. I hope someone turns you into sushi. Obviously, she adores you. Miss Skunk, please open up. It's Sherlock. I have a few questions to ask you. I started a business of fish tank cleaning at home, so my biggest customer is a piranha, and he never stops flirting with me. It's harassment. Oh, I hear you. Oh, they were just little kisses. Little kisses? He's always trying to eat me, but I won't let him. I'm a good girl, I am. I'm sure you are, Miss Skunk. I notice you have all sorts of swimming equipment. Yes, for professional reasons. I take swimming lessons. For my job, it's good to know how to swim. Hey, if you want, I can teach you the backstroke, sweetie. Oh, I can't stand it. I can't stand it. Well, Sherlock, I guess we finished questioning Miss Skunk, don't you think, right? We're even finished with the investigation, now that I know who the culprit is. Mm -hmm. What about you, young detective? Do you know? If you paid close attention, I'm sure you can figure it out. Let's go over things. Someone sent the piranha a threatening letter. It wasn't sent by the mail, and whoever wrote it dropped it off directly in the mailbox. But the mailbox is in the middle of Piranha's tank. The investigation shows that whatever the piranha may think, he's got lots of enemies. So who did it? The seal, the pelican, or the skunk? Have you found the culprit? is simple. Seal, you're tired of seeing your training rings eaten, but you couldn't have reached the mailbox. Of course you know how to swim, but even with a ladder, it's impossible for you to reach the piranha's tank. I'll do it one day. Huh? You, Miss Skunk, are particularly annoyed by the piranha, but you know neither how to swim nor fly. You're taking swimming lessons after all. Mm. 
The culprit is the only one who can fly. Isn't that right, Pelican? Because the culprit is you. Oh. The piranha's mailbox is in the middle of his tank. You're the only one who could have reached it through the air. Yes, I'm the one who sent that letter. I got bitten hard in the behind. Oh, oh. Pelican. I'll be a crusty barnacle. This pirate piranha is a public danger. He should be taken out of the zoo. You hear that? He has to be punished. Let me take care of his rear end with my teeth. Ah! You're quite right, piranha. The pelican must be punished. But so must you. What? Would you tell me what I'm doing in this outfit? You're going to train him, Pelican. <laughs> That's your punishment. You'll have to teach Piranha not to bite everyone he sees. As for you, Mr. Piranha, you're not going back to your tank until you can control yourself. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I won't have to see that fish tank Romeo anymore. You were perfect, my dear. And to reward you, I'm going to satisfy your curiosity. <gasps> you can open it. Oh, thanks. What is it? A new cell phone? A tiny computer? An electronic tablet? Oh, just a simple black notebook. Yes, a new little black notebook. Beautiful, isn't it? Without it, I could never solve any of these mysteries. You didn't expect that, did you? Huh? No, I didn't. It's quite a surprise, all right. <laughs>